Let's uh, work on an example problem for the uh, two independent sample t-test. Okay, so example one, some suggest that children who watch Sesame Street as kids have better grades when they get to high school. And we want to compare high school grades for those who watch Sesame Street and those who didn't. And we don't have access to the entire population if we did you know we would just use the uh, in population parameters to get you know get the get the, uh, the the data but we don't you know so we will take a random sample from both populations and of course those two random samples be you know sesame street group and non sesame street group right and then we will do an independent sample t-test because you know these two groups are, are not the same, you know, independent. It's not pre and post, you know. We have to distinguish these two. Some people may be con get confused about that, but you know it's not pre and post. You know it's different because pre and post, you know, d dealing with the exact same sample, uh, you know, same sample uh, group, you know, sam exactly the same sample, you know. But in in this case, you know. We're dealing with two totally different sample groups, just like that. Okay, so uh, population one is uh, a Sesame Street group, you know. Population two is like, uh, you know, non Sesame Street group. And what we're trying to do is, okay. Uh, mean of the grades, you know, and we want to compare these two, and we don't supposedly, you know, with the system history, you know, maybe we 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 get better chance of you know getting high school, better better high school grade. I don't know. It could be a maybe system history is bad, you know, and you you might get uh uh let worse grade you know than not watching Sesame Street as a kid who knows but that's why you, you want to do some tests you know independent samples test using the sample data okay and we got these values these data okay and earlier data you know this no, it's no data actually. Okay, just a sample size. Okay, sample size ten. Okay, there are ten students, high school students, and ten high school students here who didn't watch and who watched. And uh, sample size ten for each could be different, but you know, I th think same be fair in this case and. Uh, uh, the mean of the grades for, for, for this group was 93 and for that group was 85 obviously this is higher and uh, sum of square for, for, for this group is 200 if you calculate that it's gonna be 200 and sum of square for that is 160 if you did calculate you know sum of square is uh, you know it's pretty simple. This number minus the mean of these all numbers. So mean is uh, 93. So 86 minus 93, 70, uh, 87 minus 93, and 91 minus 93, 97 minus 93. We will do that and square these numbers and add them up. That's 200 and that's 160 for this. Okay. I think that's all we need to calculate, you know, to get the t t statistic, you know. So let's uh, start uh, the uh, you know, the hypothesis testing. So we're gonna start with the you know two -table hypothesis tests because we're not sure if it's gonna be a positive, you know, system history is gonna be have a, have a positive or negative effect in this case, so. Now hypothesis is that the two population means are equal, you know. 
So uh, there's no difference between two uh, sample. I mean populations. Okay, S sesame street group and not non sesame street population. You know, there's no difference. So that means you know, if you subtract you know this from that, then the result will be zero. It's gonna be either plus or minus something, you know, but it's not gonna be zero because uh, supposing, assuming there's a difference, you know, if uh, you know system history group is larger than non system history, it's gonna be positive number. If the, the non system history group is uh, higher than a se system history group, you know. The result is going to be a negative number, you know. Okay. In alpha, as usual, again five percent. So p uh, alpha equals, you know, uh, zero point zero five, and uh, that's what we use. And uh, make sure we uh, remember we're using two tail tests. So when we look at the t table, you know. You better be careful which number to look 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 for, you know. So now we have an alpha level, and we know we're gonna do a two tail test and degree of freedom, and that's population minus one. And in this case, there are two populations. I mean, not population. I mean, uh, samples. I'll get back to that. For a, for for independent samples test, you know, our degrees of freedom are calculated as combination of two it's like a pulled degree of freedom okay so it's just like you know add them up so uh, for system history group it's 10 minus 1 and a non system history group is 10 minus 1 so it's 18 so we got everything we need to get the t value I mean t statistic before doing that let's get this uh, additional info here Okay, so we know it's a, a two test combined, and we are setting the alpha level at 0 0.05, and a degree of freedom for this is 18. So, you know, a uh, critical point, I mean, T statistic for the critical value, critical point is 2.101. One. Because it's two tail tests, it's plus minus 2.101. Like that, it's around here, right? 2.101 minus 2.101. Now, um, you know, ultimately, what we want to do is this we want to calculate the t statistic like this, and we all know these. What we don't know is this, you know, standard error of. Uh, the the difference of the two means okay and how do you do that it's it just pull variance you know uh, it's like just combine of two two together and do it you know it's just like a single single mean I mean a single sample of variance but there are two so it just combine them together and just like that don't be fooled by minus sign it's not the math calculation it's just a notation of uh the 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 you know the uh, uh the item uh we are trying to you know uh, uh examine okay so going back here let's calculate this a uh, variance sample variance in you know, standard error of the, the 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 sample mean difference okay if it's just one uh, sample mean, then I mean, I mean one 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 sample, then it'll be just like this, and you know, it'll be just a variance of the pop, the, the, the sample group and uh, the number, you know, po population size, and that's it. But we have two, you know, it, it's a pulled, you know, there are two sample groups, and uh, we dealing with the two as one. That's why we have to add them up. Of course, we know that, but 
why not just a you know individual you know independent uh, variances for each group you know I don't know but we use the same pool variance so let's calculate the pool variance at once we know this then the rest is so easy and how do you do that okay I have to remember that you know this is a pooled sum of square divided by pooled uh, population minus one you know that's a pooled uh, variance right makes sense right okay so uh, sum of square for for the system history group was 200 and uh, sum of square for the the non system history group was 160 and uh, okay population I mean sample size minus 1 is 10 minus 1 is 9 and sample size minus 1 and is 10 minus 1 for this one is it so it's 9 so the result is 18 uh, under uh, 360 which is 20 so going back there so 20 you know these value is going to be 20 and it's 20 okay so to calculate this uh, sam standard error of the, the, the mean mean difference uh, okay they, these are 20s you know 20 20 and the population size is 10 and 10 so it's like uh, 2 plus 2 uh, squared root of 4 is 2 so it's 2 So now we can do this because we know this is two, and uh, okay, mean sample mean system history sample mean you know that's ninety three and some non system history sample mean is eighty five. Okay, so so that's that and that's zero, right? Because it's gonna be same. It's supposed to be same, you know. And it's hypothesis testing, so it's when you calculate that, okay, uh, it's gonna be eight divided by two is four. So t statistic is four. So in this case, it's right here. It's way over, you know, this critical uh, value of t. Because it's two, supposed to be uh, plus or minus two point one zero one, and uh, the t t value we got was four. So uh, we we reject you know re reject null hypothesis with a reservation. You know we reject null hypothesis. And this is the um, you know coins d. You know here and here are pretty much saying. <laughs> In this case, you know, we have to use this pooled standard standard deviation because pooled sample variance is, uh, you know, s square p, right? S p square. So if we get the uh, square root of that, it's going to be, uh, you know, standard deviation of the the pooled pooled uh, samples. In this case, you know, because we know that. It was twenty. So square root of twenty, and that and coin D is one point seven nine, and it's a very large effect size. Okay. So to write up, you know, this is what I wanted to find. Okay. So p is smaller than less than a zero point zero five. You know. We don't have to say p is, uh, you know, 0 0.023 or anything like that because we can't get it from the table. We, we don't want to make that table probably. It'd be a, like a, a phone book, you know, so that's why.